Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Youth Man. We're going to be hanging out in my theater room today hooking up the dual SVS SB 16 Ultra Subwoofers. And before we get into the video, if you're new to the channel and you're into home theater, audio and video, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell notification so that you'll be notified when the next video drops. All right, let's go ahead and move these subwoofers out a little bit because we're going to need to get to the back of them. So I'm actually going to pull them out quite far. And I'm going to go ahead and turn it around so that you guys can see what we're going to be working with here. Well, just a word of caution, apparently sliding these heavy subwoofers across carpet is not really a great idea. You'll leave rubber marks on your carpet. So I have to get that cleaned up later. So for now, I'm going to remove the rubber feet off of the bottom of the subwoofers. That way I can just slide them easily across the carpet. So to remove the feet, I'm just going to lean it on its side gently, lay it down on the carpet. And then we just untwist these little feet here. These are just rubber feet that you can take on and off. So we're gonna unscrew those. Yeah, it made a pretty big mess on the carpet, so I'll have to clean that up later, like I said. No worries. That's what they make carpet cleaner for. Alright, so let's get it rolled over on its bottom again yeah see now to slide nice and easy now to connect the subwoofer to my receiver we're going to be using some SVS RCA interconnects now of course you can use any RCA interconnects that you want these were actually given to me by a friend of mine named Nelson a few weeks ago I made a video about his home theater I'll post a link to it in the description below as well as in the card above now of course you can use any interconnects that you want they don't have to come from SVS I do like these, they look really, really nice. They look like they're great quality. Typically the shielding is made of rubber, but they've actually used kind of some woven, I would say thread, I guess is the best way to describe it. it actually has a really nice feel to it, it's pretty cool. So on these inter interconnects, you'll see that they do have arrows. So we wanna make sure that we're coming out of our receiver and going into the subwoofer. So we're gonna use this arrow going that way into here. So anytime you see arrows on cables like this, um, sometimes you'll see them on HDMI cables. Basically what that's letting you know is the direction of the flow of information. So you'll see one is going this way and the other one's going that way. So the way I like to think of it is signal flow. So where the source is, is your receiver. So on the back of your receiver, there'll be a sub out. So that signal is gonna come out of the receiver, come down the path, and come into our subwoofer. So we're gonna use this one going into the up arrow, the sub. One thing I really like that I'm seeing is on the back of the SVS SB16 Ultra Sub, you'll see right here, instead of using a left and right channel, they've got this LFE. Now I never understood why subwoofer manufacturers would have a stereo input for a subwoofer when a subwoofer is a mono signal. So typically when you're connecting a subwoofer that has a stereo input, you would need to take your RCA cable and attach one of these right here. So this is just a splitter. It has two male ends and a female end. So you take the female end, plug it into the end of this, and then you would take this stereo pair now and you would go into the right channel input as well as the left channel input. But one thing I can see already on this subwoofer is that they allow for you to connect just one subwoofer input. We're going to disconnect these. We're going to take off this Y cable. And you'll notice right here on this right channel, it says LFE. So that's your low frequency effects from the receiver. So we're going to be able to plug just a single RCA right here into this line level input for the right channel. Just like that. You may be wondering, Michael, what is this line level output? What's great about subwoofers that have outputs, let's say your receiver has only one sub pre-out on the back of it. You can come out of that pre-out into this subwoofer input. Then you can take and come out of this and go into your next subwoofer. So this allows you to hook up multiple subwoofers. Since powered subwoofers have their own amplifier, all you need to do is send signal to them, then they amplify that signal and you're good to go. So this allows you to hook up multiple subwoofers in 
a system. So in my current setup, I have four Klipsch RSW-15s. I have two sub outs on the back of my receiver. So one sub out cable is coming into one of my subwoofers and then I'm coming out of the subwoofer to the second subwoofer. Then on the back of the receiver, I have a second sub out, which is going to my third subwoofer input. And then we're coming out of that one into my fourth subwoofer. So that's how you would hook up multiple subwoofers if you wanted to add a second, a third, or even a fourth, or however many subwoofers you want. Right below the line level inputs, you'll also see this trigger input. Now trigger input is great when you have a receiver or a preamp that has trigger outputs. What trigger outputs do is send a signal to a device like a subwoofer to tell it to turn on or off. When it senses a signal, it powers the subwoofer on. When that signal is turned off, so when you turn off your receiver or your preamp, it sends another signal to the subwoofer to tell it to turn off. So this way you don't have to worry about finding your remote, turning it on, turning it off. You don't want to get halfway through your movie and realize, oh my goodness, my subwoofers are off. Well, more than likely, you'll know if your subwoofers are off. But that's another nice feature. All right, so we're going to set this other one up the same way. Gonna spin it around. Get our cable. Again, remember if your cables have direction, so we want this going into the subwoofer, so the arrow needs to be pointing towards the tip, which this one is. We're gonna go into the LFE channel, take our power cable, and connect that. We're good to go, spin it back around. Got to move the center channel out so that we can connect it to the back of the receiver. All right, let's pull this out. Turn the light on back here. Now we just have to feed our power cable and our RCA cables through the cabinet to the receiver. So let's do that. Plug in the power cable. Feed this over here. We're just going to leave that right there for now. Let's feed this other one through the cabinet. And we'll plug that power cable in down here. Right there. And bring this up here. Now, before I unplug the RCA cables from my receiver, I want to make sure that my subwoofers are turned off. So one good thing is when we built the cabinet right under here, I've got two switches that turn off all four of my subwoofers. So the power to those are now turned off. And now all we have to do is unplug these two cables right here or my RCA cables coming from my subwoofers. So we'll pull those off. I'm just gonna set that to the side. Actually, I'm going to leave it right in there. That way it doesn't get tangled up when we push it. And I'm going to go ahead and plug this one in. Since I can't see down there. That way I don't end up plugging it into the wrong spot. And plug the second one in. Right here. Okay, now that we've got the subwoofers connected, we're going to push this back in. We'll tidy up our wires. Move the subs into place. Put the center channel back in its place. and turn off our work light. All right, well that's gonna wrap up this video, hooking up and connecting the dual 
SVS SB16 Ultras. In the next video, we'll take a look at the SVS app, as well as how to power it on, look at some of the features that it has in the menu up on the front panel, and get these set up and fire them up for the first time. I'll post a link in the description to the SVS cables that I hooked up today. Maybe you want to check those out. If you end up purchasing those, it helps this channel out a little bit through the affiliate links. Every little bit helps whether you purchase that or purchase something else through Amazon. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And as always, you guys be blessed, and we'll catch you in the next video.